how you doing? And thanks for visiting the studio. Today I'm going to make a few encaustic paintings. And basically, this is what these paintings are described as color field paintings. And if you want to know more about art, uh, three color field painters that you might want to check out Ellsworth Kelly, Kenneth Nolan, and let's say Joseph L. Beers, because I'll be making squares, and whenever you paint squares, I always think of Joseph L. Beers. He always painted squares. So anyway, um, this is what is described as a shaped canvas. I made the canvas or the panel downstairs in the wood shop and then I glued the canvas onto the panel creating a vessel. And I'll fill the inside of this vessel with the encaustic medium. And so I guess that's it. Let's just get started. Now that I've got the border taped out, I'm going to warm the surface up with my heat gun being careful not to burn the canvas. I keep adding more of the encaustic medium until I'm just about level with the top of the canvas. Okay, I've worked on this for a few minutes and I've got a nice smooth surface. Now I'm going to walk away for a couple minutes and let the wax start to harden. It's been about five minutes and yeah, the consistency is just about right. So now I'm going to use this plastic spatula and scoop out a square. Now I'm going to try and spoon in the white without hitting any of the yellow. That's why I've got that piece of paper here. I let the painting cool down a little bit and while it was cooling down, the yellow that I had scooped out, I put in the pot and then I poured all the yellow into these cupcake containers. And that's just how I like to store the paint. I have a bunch of them over here. Let me... Here's some pink. So when I, maybe I'll use these sometime down the road, maybe in the next couple of days. Uh, so the next step really is to remove the tape. Now there's two pieces of tape. The outside piece will come right off. Sometimes the inside piece, you have to work it a little bit with the heat gun to get a nice clean line. Now when I said clean line, what I was really talking about is that the tape doesn't stick to the wax and you have sort of a problem that way. Uh, you, I've never gotten a clean line. In fact, when I first made one of these more than 10 years ago, uh, I was hoping for a nice clean line but the wax seeped underneath the tape, and then it was one of those things I thought looked really good. So uh, I know that you were probably looking at it and say, geez, that's not a clean line. Well, that's not what I meant. I, it's really just that I didn't want the tape to stick to the wax, and by heating it up a little bit, that seems to help. Well, the yellow painting is it's pretty much done, so now I'm going to move on to the blue, and the first step is just to mix up the color. I always have a lot of fun making these paintings. I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, I still do need to frame the paintings, and I do like to frame these. I don't think every painting needs a frame, but I like to put a thin aluminum strip on the sides of these paintings, and uh, 
once they're framed. I'll show you what they look like maybe in next week's video. Now another cool thing that you can do with encaustic is encaustic transfers and down the road I'll, I'll go into that a little bit. And this is something I've been doing lately which is, this is a work on paper, it's pencil and watercolor and it's all locked in with encaustic. So the nice thing about that is this is a work on paper yet it's uh, got a very strong or very safe surface. I, I would feel comfortable even hanging this in a bathroom. So a lot of great things you can do with encaustic. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next week.